Hey everyone, it's AJ here. I'm sitting behind Studio One 5. I wanted to show you my current workflow when mixing and introducing the new scenes, uh, mix scenes in Studio One 5. Okay, so here's how I'm using the new scenes, mix scenes in Studio One 5. Normally my workflow would be to um, do a mix of all the recorded information, bass, guitars, etc. As you can see here, this folder contains all the guitars, for instance. So my normal workflow now is to export stems of just each one of these parts, which is, uh, in this case, bass is in mono, so stereo, mono mono because of the sub then guitars effects etc along then i would bounce it down and then make another session called stem mix or mix stems um and then do further processing from there but now with mix scenes i can actually have it all happening in the one session so as you can see in this particular scene i have all my tracks here that i've been working on all the guitars vocals etc so you'll see, once I move over to this, my stems uh, mix scene, you'll notice things will change. Now this, normally um, I've been doing a few tests this afternoon and it's taking around 20 seconds. Which is pretty quick for me because usually if I had to go and change, say one of the guitars wasn't loud enough, I would have to close this session, go back to the original session, mix down that stem again uh, to the way I wanted it and then export out the stem, bring it back into my stems mix in the other session and continue working. Now that could, could obviously take anywhere between one to five minutes to do that. Um, but having scenes, mix scenes, we can set them all up in the one session. So bear in mind, this takes 20 seconds to bring up a new mix, mainly because as you can see here, I've got inserts and sends ticked so that everything's going to happen as far as the effects down the bottom here are going to be all turned off because we don't really need them anymore on the buses because we've exported it out with them on. So if I hit my stems scene here, I'll get a little dialog box that turns up and as you can see here, it's taking, it's saying time remaining, nine seconds. Should have a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So now it's deactivating all the effects. They had quite a few on here. It's all the other tracks have them on there so now as you can see that took about 30 seconds um, probably even a little less but everything has changed up here as you can see now all that you can uh, see are the stems that I have exported for each one of those buses and down the bottom here I've left this one on for the drums because um, I'm going to be using that on that uh, in this particular mix, but you can see the others have been turned off So now I can continue mixing in the one session and By swapping around my mix scenes. I can be working on the stems mix For the final bounce down for the track So that's a little bit of show and tell of my current workflow using studio one five and having mix scenes I'm kind of used to mix scenes from the Studio Live Desk that I use as well. Having it in Studio One is uh, going to be a time saver. So try it yourself. Let me know how you go. And leave me notes in the comments if there's anything you'd like to add. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.